When a zombie looks into the sky after a storm, does he see a rainbow? Welcome to the stream, my friends. Happy uh, Saturday. I never stream on Saturdays, and here we are. <laughs> and here we are with Vampire Crystals yet again. I cannot escape this game. It tormented me all night last night, and I still couldn't overcome it. So here we are. <laughs> Dead Zergling is first in chat tonight. Welcome in Zergling. Hooray, more vamp Vampire Crystals again. I really want to finish this game. Goodness, it's tough. And Raven Child, welcome in. Thank you very much for joining us. I uh, hope you are doing well. I hope both of you are well. I hope all of you are well, lurkers included. Uh, no, a zombie most certainly does not. <laughs> so let's, uh, Let's just uh, not waste any time. Let's dive back in. If you're unfamiliar with this game, um, this is a uh, this is a WiiWare title. I've been playing spooky WiiWare for all of October. I've got three games left, including this one. So two games after this. I've been playing this one for several nights, and it's been pretty good, but I hit a wall last night. I hit a wall, and now I'm trapped in this game. <laughs> It just became so difficult. Um, so if we finish this, you know, we'll we'll do something else for the rest of the night. I'm not exactly sure what. I've been leaning toward a second playthrough of the first two Splatterhouse games. I just played both of those for the first time recently. And I'd like to run through each of them again and get sort of a feel for their, uh, you know, I think they're good candidates for... Uh, challenge runs like deathless runs but i want to i want to play through them again and get another sort of feel for them but i want to get this game out of my life too <laughs> uh, and i don't uh. so this is a this is like a smash tv style game um Levels have objectives of meeting certain enemy quotas or certain uh, collectibles, collecting crystals. This stage has no crystals. This stage is all about enemy quota. But I just can't reach it. I've gotten close twice. I've had two really good runs, but I've played this stage for four plus hours. It's a, it's a pretty good game, but it just became unbearably difficult for me. Maybe it was just me, though. Maybe I'll get it. Maybe I'll get it real quick tonight. Maybe I was, uh, maybe I was off my game. Maybe I was out of sorts. So the thing that makes this stage so tough is you are on a very, very limited timer. And, uh, you know, it's up to you to circle the stage and collect collect clocks to keep the timer full. Because I've got to hit 1,200 enemies <laughs> defeated before I run out of time or health. Uh, 
no. Item spawns are random. Um, there's no guarantee that there's going to be enough clocks on the board or that they will be close enough together. to actually keep a run going, but, uh, I mean, I'd like to think there are, but we've had, we had a few attempts where I feel like I circled the entire board really well and didn't find anything. <laughs> right there that was actually an incredibly good run hey subject omega welcome in i can't tell what i'm looking at it's a chaotic game it's it's a twin stick shooter it's uh so like you know people compare it a lot to vampire survivors though i've never played that game um and my go-to is smash tv i always think of that with these with the style of game Perhaps my, uh, perhaps my favorite twin stick shooter, the game that, like, I think was, like, my first major exposure to the genre, and, the, the like, the first one I really loved was, uh, was, it was an Xbox Live arcade game called I Made a Game with Zombies in it, and it was fantastic. I think there is a version of that game available on Steam. I haven't looked into it, but I've heard it's not quite the same. So my goal is to, uh, I've got to eliminate 1200 enemies before I run out of time or life. Um, there are no healing items on the board, but you know, if I play really well, I shouldn't need them. The timer, this stage is a, the stage has a gimmick where the timer is intentionally super low and you have to, you have to, con you have to continually chase down clocks to keep the timer full. And, uh, so because of that gimmick, I'm I'm struggling with this stage, and I've 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 been stuck here for a very long time. <laughs> we just started the stream tonight, but I played this yesterday, and I was stuck on this stage for like four hours. So. While it's actually, uh, while it's actually a pretty good game, like I, I, I do enjoy the game. <laughs> this, this one level here is really killing me. I, there are a couple other levels I struggled a lot with too, but nothing like this.
No, I made a game with zombies in it is somehow a 0 out of 10 and 10 out of 10 title at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I should look at the Steam version. But, uh... It was released on Steam a couple years ago, and it's free, uh, Kyle says. Yeah, I've heard that it's not quite the same. I heard that they that they changed some things in it. And, uh... I haven't looked into it though, but I'm worried like if they change the soundtrack to it, I don't think I could I don't think I could take that. Because the the soundtrack to the original was really amazing. I should probably clarify that the soundtrack to the to the to that game is not conventionally good. <laughs> if you like if you like search it out on, on YouTube or something to throw it on as background music, you might be scratching your head, but For the game, it's fantastic. Uh, found a thread about it. Said it's using the same code and everything, just with upscaled visuals. Oh my goodness. 100% worth it then. So I, I misunderstood or heard incorrectly before. Or I just imagined my worst fears. And it was never true ever. Never played it, but I remember hearing about it. Uh, it's a, you know, it's, it's a, it's, so when it released on Xbox Live Arcade, it was, it released for a dollar. And it was probably the best dollar you could spend in gaming. In my opinion. You know, it was a game, you know, with slightly, I would say slightly more than a dollar's worth of content. You know, at, le at least slightly more than a dollar's worth of content. But it wasn't a huge game, but it was a great thing, like, it was a great, like, just sort of, like, pick up and, like, like a great, like, warm-up game. <laughs> something, something great to throw on for a few minutes. It could be beaten reasonably quickly, and uh, was very rewarding to uh, to do so. I can see Vampire Survivors, Endless Horde Shooter. Oh no! I ran into a poison while I was uh. Trying to read. character becomes a to Toho boss as time progresses. Kyle wasn't being silly, by the way, um, with the uh, the title there. That's how it's actually. That's how it's officially spelled.
Thank you everybody for joining me tonight. By the way, it's a you know it's a weird it's a weird night for me. I don't uh, I uh, I almost never do a stream on a Saturday night, so it's a uh, it's nice to have a uh, it's nice to have so many people join me. Sorry, I can't get us out of this game. <laughs> uh. No! Uh, if you grab the timer when it's red, it eats your time away. It's an anti-timer. And it's so far away. <laughs> Gotta get the full effect of the title. <laughs> You ever play Castle Crashers? Uh, just a little bit of it. I liked uh, I liked what I played of it, but I uh, but I only played it a bit. I think I saw at one point they added a purple knight as DLC. That alone should be reason enough to go back to it for me. Maybe that was just fan art though. <laughs> I can't say for sure. Blacksmith. Oh, excellent. He has antlers. Yeah, yeah. I like that uh I like that aesthetic. I like a uh I mean I'm probably more a fan of like the smooth like I guess like bull horns of like a like a Viking helmet, but antlers are alright too.
We were doing all right. I haven't had any... Well, I don't know. I feel... I feel all right about the way the runs have been going generally so far. in my luck and weapons off, but... I also don't want to be without a weapon. Ah, I'm stuck on the scenery! Another beat em up I like called Foul Play. I don't know that one. There's not a lot of beat em ups that I point to as like. being like games I really love. I don't think I've given the genre its due. definitely know that I have it. Uh, played, uh, played enough. Just like shooters. I haven't... I just haven't played enough. I saw it coming and everything, and it... No! Ah, I didn't think that was one that flashed! Some of the timers turn red and some of them don't. And that one didn't for so long, I thought it wouldn't. Ugh. Picking up two timers back to back would have been amazing. <laughs> The 
the timer density is way too thin. The story slash style is a stage play and the main character is talking about his adventures. That could be kind of fun. That kind of makes me think of, uh... Isn't Paper Mario like that? It's kind of like, uh... I mean, it has, like, the, the aesthetic of a stage in the battles. Not in... Not in the same way, but... I mean, I guess Mario 3 famously has the aesthetic of a stage, too. No, I hit the poison. Of uh, the negative items, when the clock turns red, it's a negative item. Eats your time away. There's also a, like a skull and crossbones that uh, takes away one of your hearts. And uh, there's like a vial of black poison that uh, it messes up your controls. It makes you walk real slow and kind of scrambles your your movement so that it doesn't reverse them exactly. I, I don't... I don't even really know how to describe the effect. It just makes it so you don't walk in the direction that the stick should move you in. But like, in what way it's off by, I can't tell. It might not even be the same every time, but... It just, it just messes me up. Hey, Dynamite, welcome in. I'm still stuck on the same level in this game. I played this level for four hours last night, and I couldn't clear it.
Oh. It's a shame. I was so uh, careless with my health. I'm rooting for you. I want to see you beat this. Thank you. Thank you. I'm uh I'm definitely ready. I'm definitely ready to be done with it. I don't uh I don't regret playing it, but I almost do. <laughs> all the items here. That's not good. Please, game, spawn a clock. Oh, yuck. Come on. Two damage back to back. it's vital to pick up the clocks I can't do anything without those um, I pretty much always need a weapon uh, upgrade the regular pea shooter just won't do it um, but it doesn't really matter which one I have there there definitely is a tier list of ones that are better than others but ultimately as long as I have one it's fine but also the uh, the axe. Whenever I see an axe, I have to go out of my way to pick it up because that protects you from most that protects you from most damage. So it's uh, it's just really vital to success. All the uh, all the clocks in the world won't do me any good if I lose all my hearts. This is the best weapon, though. Stumbling. <sighs> Almost two thirds of the way there. That's the second best run I've had so far tonight.
Hey, Sir Rack of Lamb. Welcome in. The nightmare continues. <laughs> this is, uh, this is, uh, for those who may not know, I, I do believe this is the last stage before the final boss. So that's like, that's part of why it's so difficult. You know, it's not, it's not like I clear this and I've got 20 more stages of this to get through. We are close to the end of the line. Unless, unless there's some horrible secret about this game that I'm unaware of. <clears throat> Excuse me. Wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be a nightmare if I beat, I beat this and it, and it unlocks a surprise additional 20 levels. <laughs> ah, that guy with the axe took away all of my hearts with one swing. Look at my health bar. I went from four hearts to half a heart. You only start with four hearts, by the way. I know there's six up there, but uh, two of them are two of them are empty whenever the level starts. I was just about to say there could be a third loop. I, uh, unless I want to replay it on hard mode, which I don't. <laughs> I think uh, I think this is I think this is the end. I might take a look just to see what I think I'm gonna take a look just to see what hard mode is like. I'm not gonna play it, but I. Uh, I might play the first level of hard mode. I kind of think that it might... I kind of think there's a chance that hard mode might be the same game, but with but one-hit kills is sort of my guess. <laughs> Day, night, yeah, the third twilight. Dawn. Jelly was laughing at me the other day because we were looking at the calendar and I said, oh, Daylight Savings is coming up. That's great. That means we get an extra night. She was very, she was very amused at the thought of a version of Daylight Savings time where we get an entire extra night. <laughs> Not without a day attached, just <sighs> are there games of the third loop that you know of? Um. Um, sort of like mandatory third loop. I don't know. I don't know if I... A Ghost Slayer uh, had a third loop. Um, actually. Um, that game with the, the motion control game with the floating sword. There were, there were three difficulties, but each unlocked only after you beat the previous one. So that one kind of had three loops in a way. Um, you didn't get any different endings or anything, but you did get, like, rank up. So I guess, I guess that would be a game with three loops. You can do extra loops in Ghosts and Goblins if you want to. But uh, only two are only two are mandatory for the true ending. Yeah, 
it has been the the New Year's Eve tradition of the stream that I play Ghosts and Goblins, and I attempt to clear Loop Three. I've never I've never been able to do it. I can make it up to the final stage on Loop Three, but I just can't clear it. I've tried uh, I've tried for a couple years now. Stream. If we stream on New Year's Eve again this year, then I... I'll try again. I'm shocked at how difficult it is, too. <laughs> There's really not much to commentate on, especially after doing this for four hours straight. Yeah, not not really. I've uh, I've kind of said everything there is to say about the game <laughs> multiple times. I'm just waiting for the right sort of like combination of luck and not blundering. To, uh, to finally get me past the level. Because there's a, I mean, there's definitely, there's both involved. There's a, there's, there are definitely skill factors, but there is a degree to which I am dependent on luck because the items are RNG and it's not. It's not 100% for sure that we will get enough clocks to even clear a state to even clear the stage I want to be I want to be generous and assume that there are always enough clocks on the board and it's just a matter of like failing to guess where they are so I don't get to them in time, but I've had a few attempts where I've gone a long ways around the board without it without seeing a clock. And it, it makes me sort of doubt that every run is completable. No, no, I got a negative clock. I even tried to stop, but I didn't stop in time. so chaotic when I take damage a lot of time a lot of the times that I take damage I just have no idea what hit me and it just makes you feel like so bad <laughs> it doesn't feel deserved because I don't know what it what happened there's too much going on I'll have to watch the previous VOD then. <laughs> to 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 hear to hear all of my my deep thoughts and insights. <laughs> I don't know.
I have nothing better to do. <laughs> well, if you, if, you if you check it out, if you do decide to check it out, you know, I, I definitely appreciate it. Odds don't always uh, get published right away because I have to manually publish them. Um, the the music in something I played recently was like it got the it got the vod muted and Twitch set my vods to they it turned off automatic publishing and I could turn it back on but I thought you know what. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it manual, and then, and then I don't always forget to publish them right, and then I don't always remember to publish them right away. Last night should be up though. But just uh, you know, if you ever watch, if you ever watching a stream and then you try to come back to watch the vod the next day and it's not there, it's not because I took it down. It's because I forgot to put it up. <laughs> it happened to me twice. That uh. I've only, I think I've only had two VODs muted. Uh, DuckTales was one of them. And the other one was Master Spy. <laughs> that was the, that was the recent one that got muted was Master Spy. And it's like, that game doesn't even work. And like, in addition to being a broken, to being a broken game, it's gonna go and mute my VODs too. <laughs> what a disaster. <laughs> I wanted that to be, uh, I, I was, I really wanted that to be, a successful, fun playthrough, and the developers really let me down with it. So my best, uh, my best run has been just short of, um, Hey Pookie, welcome in. Thank you for joining us again. I missed the first missed the first hour of fun. Well don't worry. I haven't made any progress. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Um I appreciate the um the the what was that? What was the pun? The suitcase full of meat. And the, uh, and that, uh, that video about the, the anime meat. I think that that, I think, I don't know, I don't know how good that recipe would taste. I mean, it didn't look bad or anything, but, uh, I think that would be fun to make for, like, a party or something. I think that'd be fun to make and have out on the... To serve at a to serve at like a little get together. The worst case scenario, yeah. <laughs> I enjoyed both of those. I did the. Uh... I didn't remember to say something about it before, but I did. Uh, I did notice and appreciate those. Acquiring water, subject Omega says we. Uh, we We'll see you when you return. <laughs> the best meat is cartoon meat. <laughs> Thank you. 
That's why I had to go for that. The, um... The channel points. The channel points. The, the secret meets. I think... I think most people would have gone with the, uh... with the uh, pork chop from Castlevania 1 and Jelly did draw me a did did draw me an emote of the castle for the Castlevania 1 uh, pork chop but I had to go I had to go with my heart and my and my heart says the Castlevania bloodlines mutton is the uh, is the way to really go Is it always that when my clock is full, my life bar is empty? When my life bar is full, my clock is empty. I know why it's like that because the more axes I collect, the longer my life bar stays full. But the more axes I collect means the less time and opportunity I've had to collect uh, clocks. <laughs> So that's why my health and my time are inversely related. Still haven't slept since yesterday. Oh my goodness. Hopefully I'll head there eventually. talked about the idea of, you know, staying up to turn your sleep schedule around. I hope you don't stay up too long and end up oversleeping and and wake up just to have your sleep schedule messed up again because you, you slept for too long. I don't know if that's a thing that happens to you, but... Oh, but when I watched that, uh, when I watched that, that video for how to make that, uh, meat, I don't, I don't know that I, I don't think I've ever heard of a burdock root before. I don't even know what that is. Hey, Baron Metz, welcome in.
Thank you for joining us for the unusual Saturday stream. Sadly, I'm still trapped in the same level I couldn't beat last night. That's the best run we've had tonight. One HP and a dream. Oh, my dreams. I woke up from my dreams. Uh, that's the best run tonight. My best run that I've had is just short of 1100. I've gotten like 1080 something twice. So, I know it's possible. <laughs> Three quarters. Yes, we'll see. Not too worried about it, though, Pookie says. Even if I wake up at noon, it'll be a big improvement. Or where I would have landed otherwise. Hopefully I'll find some Halloween candy. I think uh, Jelly bought these uh, little individually packaged uh, Rice Krispie treats that uh, I think we're going to give out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, the yeah the enemy population increases as your uh, yeah as as you get closer to uh, reaching the quota. That so yeah that's that's really nice. So like even though we even though we have a lot of runs that like like I play for a while and it doesn't seem like 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 my count gets very high. It's. Um, it, that's really not an issue because uh, because yeah the uh, the enemy density is gonna pick up. Um, if I stay alive. So I don't, I don't ever need to, like, think about, like, oh, there's a good opportunity to take out a lot of enemies. Like, I, I don't have to ever worry about boosting my, my kill count. Because I'm, I'm, I'm going to pick up, I'm going to pick up all of them I need just moving from clock to clock. One thought is that, like, you know, like, I need to collect items off the board even when I don't really need them, because the fewer items that are on the board, the more space there is for items to spawn in, which means there's more opportunities for clocks to spawn, 
So while it is like my instinct to not want to pick up a suboptimal weapon, like when I have this, which is the best weapon in the game, I don't necessarily want to pick up another weapon because there'll only be a downgrade. But if I leave the other weapons on the board, then I'm I'm clogging up space where a clock might spawn. So I do need to sometimes go out of my way to pick up bad weapons just to make more room. The items will naturally despawn after a while if I don't collect them, but I feel like I should be more proactive. That's a that's a hard thing to do though, sometimes. Come on, that was another good one. It's that's essentially a massive meatloaf held to a stick. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it, you know, when I look at, like, uh... You know, when I look at like a, a bone loaf, yeah, I don't expect it to have a meat a meatball or meatloaf texture. I, I I expect it to be like biting into like a big hunk of steak, but But this game is Tony the Tiger. It demands not just good, but great circling says. Yeah, I wish I wish I were great. When, uh, when something happens to me like that, and I get my health bar wiped out by a single hit really into a run, I have an option to reset a run without, 
Like, I can reset if I remember to pause and hit the button, but <laughs> I got to do it before the death animation starts. But if I want to, like, if I don't want to sit through that game over thing and I'll wait for the button prompt to come up, <sighs> I can save us at least, like, a little bit of... 1% of our wasted time. I have an option to skip. I just have to be more on the ball. Come on. I, uh, I might, I might toy with that idea, uh, Pookie. I might see about sort of copying and or modifying that, uh, that recipe to, uh, to make my own, to make my own bone loaf. I'm gonna show it to, uh, I'm gonna show it to Jelly and see what she thinks. And if I do, uh, if I do end up doing something with it, I'll definitely report my findings. never really given meatloaf a fair shake. Because it always seems to be served with like a ketchup glaze on top. And uh... I mean, you know, me and ketchup don't mix, so... Because of that, I'm always, uh, I'm always scared to, to try it out. I grabbed that clock at the last second. I couldn't even see it. I mean, I knew it was there, but it was behind the enemy, so I couldn't tell if it was going to be red or not. I just had to trust the timing. It's all for naught, because I'm not going to get another one now, but... It made me feel good for a brief moment. <laughs> the frowny R&D department will further meet technology.
I've got a couple additional channels for the Discord server, like... I made... I'm, they're not publicly visible, but I've, I've made a couple additional channels. Um, I just need to, like... I just need to write the pinned comments the, and, the, like, the description for the channels. So I can make them go public, but one is for one is a cartography channel for people to share uh, maps that they draw while playing games. And one is a one is a submissions channel for the retro for the retro video game meat project. One is a channel where I'm gonna post some of the uh, some of the Agent Frowny comic strips that I drew in uh, high school. <laughs> so, yeah, any day now, when I any day now, as soon as I get my act together, you're gonna see you're gonna see three extra channels show up in the Discord. <laughs> got damaged, but it didn't affect my life bar. That was weird. Like my character made the, oh, I got damaged sound effect. We shall make the perfect meat. No matter how many lives may need to be sacrificed. Oh my. <laughs> oh. I mean, there always there always is an element of that involved. That is uh, that is the nature of meat. What's the retro meat project? I'm trying to catalog every every meat in retro gaming. If you uh, if you look in the Discord, there's a thread called the Meats. And I'm uh, I'm creating a catalog of every of every retro video game meet. I'm trying to capture an image of it. Ideally, a screenshot of the relevant page from the instruction manual, and then just a brief note about what its in-game effect is. But if you, if you scroll through the Discord channel titled The Meats, you'll see my work so far. There's like, I don't know, maybe a few dozen entries in there right now. It's not, it's not very fleshed out. Just a little, just a little thing for fun, since I'm, I'm such a, I'm such an admirer of video game meets. I'm creating, uh, I'm creating a little catalog for my own amusement. I'm gonna make a separate channel where people can submit their own photos 
I would just open up the I would just open up the other one and just let anyone add and just let anyone add to it. Like I'm not against that idea except that the only thing about it is that I I'm trying to keep them stylistically uniform. I don't necessarily want someone to like hop in there not having like checked like my style my like my style guide preferences and then put in a whole bunch of submissions that are just that that don't match <laughs> I don't know why I care about any of this If I get a whole bunch of them, though, maybe I'll make a, uh... I think I'll make, a, like, a, maybe I'll make, like, a YouTube video or something. A Agent Frowny's definitive guide to retro video game meets. <laughs> The meat almanac. <laughs> Instead of Nintendo Power, Nintendo Protein. <laughs> I really, I really feel tremendous physical pain when I take damage from something that, like, where I see it coming, and I try to avoid it, and I, and I fail.
my my insides physically hurt. Uh, sent you a link to a site that has a bunch of manual scans. Oh, thank you, Sir Akablam. That'll be nice. I think some of my favorite meats. I like the uh, I like the barbecue from uh, Final Fight. Uh, it's very aesthetically pleasing. The uh, you know the Castlevania pork chop is pretty iconic, but you know this is it's sort of an obvious grab. Um, I think my least favorite meat is from Tasmania. On the Genesis, there's like it's a it's a roast turkey, but it's just it's such an off-putting color, and it's got these like it's supposed to be it's supposed to be like steam lines on top of it, but it just looks like stink lines. <laughs> so it looks like a rotting roast turkey. I don't, very unappealing. Worst worst meat. It's fitting though, because that's a pretty not that's a pretty mediocre game. <laughs> Thank you for the face cam inversion stat cat. Uh, we'll do that. Uh, let me finish this life first. And welcome to the stream. I really like the sausage link from um, Scooby-Doo classic creep capers on the Game Boy Color as well. That one doesn't really have a good design to it. It just it it looks like nothing, but uh, it's um it has an amusing purpose in the game. That gives it a gives it quite a bit of charisma. No. <sighs> All right, let me catch up here. I missed a few things. Through your studies of meats of lore, you will become the first Meatromancer. You'll wield the awesome power of meat and command your meat army. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, turn it upside down. A magic wielder uses flesh magic is interesting. Flesh mancers are a thing. Sea of Stars, the messenger is about that. The messenger, like the platformer game? Sorry.
Nice. Two clocks. Let's go. Probably means I won't see another one. That's <laughs> probably, probably it for this round, but... Felt good for a moment. my fault. No! Uh, everything was... Everything was, should have been gone my way. Ah. As it spawns more enemies, like... Toward the end of the round... As we approach the finish line, it spawns more enemies, but that means it spawns more of those guys that throw the cards. <laughs> they're the uh, they're the thing that's eating away my health when I have a run that's almost at the finish line. Three hearts, three hearts taken away in a single, single hit. I don't even, like... It's hard to explain what I think happened there. I'm probably wrong anyway.
feel bad about this attempt. Let's restart. Irritating beyond description <laughs> when I uh, when I don't take damage and miss a clock w within the span of like a millisecond. It's, it's really hard to maintain my composure <laughs> just to practice run. None of these runs count. They're all just practice for the for the main event. I'll let you know when the real run happens. I'll let I'll let you know immediately after I finish the real run. <laughs> when we've stopped practicing. We haven't yet. gonna be here a while. I've already played this stage now for like six hours. <laughs> have no idea what hit me. Be here a while longer. We'll be here a few more minutes. I mean, we'll be here a few more minutes and a few more hours, but, you know, a few more minutes is technically not incorrect. It just doesn't paint the whole picture. <laughs> Unless my curse just kicked in, then I'd say a couple more tries. expected this game to have a level like this that would like top the charts as like like you know like one of my longest grinds on the stream but uh we're, we're gonna get there i think it's got 15 hours to go if it wants to dethrone echo <laughs>
things are taking a really bad turn. They were really good for a moment, but then I took a lot of damage in a very short period of time. I saw that card right at the last second. Uh, I could have, I should have been able to avoid it, but I'm too dumb. Uh. Uh, I find that sometimes I have a curse of taunting someone doing a task only for them to immediately to immediately perfect on the next go round. <laughs> Unfortunately, my, my, my bad luck is unassailable. It's downloaded Snapchat, StatCat says. Because my cousins here use it. The filters are hilarious. I just sent out a... Yassified? PlayStation 1 Hagrid? I can't tell if that's a typo or something. I don't know. <laughs> Have uh, approximately zero experience with Snapchat myself. to use uh, used to use Facebook once upon a time uh, like a couple decades ago and you know I obviously I use twitch I use Skype and I kind of use discord and I think that's it for like social media like apps and programs. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta say just kind of with, uh, with Discord because, like, I'm very inactive, even in my own server, and, uh, I don't use a lot of its, uh, features. Hundred percent a thing. I'm out of the loop. It's the curse I use on someone when I want them to succeed. Not really helpful if I want them to fail. <laughs> so instead of your instead of your gift being a curse, your curse is a gift. Prox 
approximately halfway there on that one. With it, have a saying. I'm worried about him when we see someone who's been going to the gym for quite a while and not progressing regarding Frowny in this game. I'm worried about him, Dynamite says. <laughs> Me too, Dynamite. <laughs> Alright, we've been upside down more than long enough. I think perhaps the reason you don't see a lot of full playthroughs of this game posted online are, uh, I think the reason is not merely because of its obscurity. <laughs> Gotten, I've gotten close enough to be sure that it is possible, but... kind of possible in the same way that it's like technically possible that like I could win a Grammy next year right <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, the amount of, yeah, because, yep, yep, exactly. The amount of things that have to line up. I have to get the perfect luck, but I also have to not blunder the, the run. <laughs> You know, and if I if I only if I only get the perfect luck on like one out of ten runs, and I only blunder, and I and I only avoid blundering on one out of a thousand, the odds that they're gonna be the same run are pretty slim. collected this weapon before I even saw the item for it. Some of these, like, I don't know, secondary weapon items, you might consider them, like the bombs or the meat, are, uh, they're not, they're useful, but they can't really be used in an intentional way, like, there's no... There's no practicality to attempting to place bombs, like, in particular areas. Like, they just drop behind you. And that's fine. I mean, I don't think they're intended to be used intentionally, but... I don't know. There's a, there's a degree of strangeness about it. The meat... More so than the bombs. The bombs aren't really that strange, but the meat, because, like, it's supposed to be a lure. Well, I'm thinking it, because I'm trying to think of it as a lure to, like, get the enemies to bunch up in a particular place, but really it's just a, it's just a lure to get them to not come near you, I guess. I'm not thinking about it in the right way. It's not really a lure, it's a distraction. And I've even called it that before, but... Uh, I didn't think about my own terminology.
Okay, but thank you for sharing a uh, stack cat. I'll check that out at a, uh, at a later time. Pokemon Zogum in. Yeah, we're back here. I'm still at the same level. No progress. I'm sticking with it. I've had a couple I've had a couple okay attempts. I've had a couple like like good attempts, but I haven't had any I haven't had any as good as last night yet. I've gotten around 800 a couple times. I think I went over 900 once. Tonight. Still at least a hundred short of my best attempt. This game, surely it can't be like the machine echo status, can it? I don't want it to be. I sure don't want it to be, but I don't know. I can't think of many levels that I've struggled with for this long. Battletoads is a weird, like, example and exception to, like, the count, because the thing about Battletoads is the limited continues means that the parts where I was stuck for the longest, I also spent the least time. <laughs> because I would just, because I would get there and I would game over so quickly that then I would be doing the, the whole game again to get back. And so, I didn't actually spend a lot of time at the parts where I was stuck. I spent a lot of time getting back to those parts. It'll happen. I appreciate the confidence, uh, Pokemons. don't want anything to ever dethrone Echo for, like, the King of Pain, like, keeping me trapped in, in one level for the longest period of time. I don't want it, I don't want anything to dethrone Echo, one, because I don't want to live through that event where it happens, but two, I like having Echo be the game that I can point to as, like, this is the game that was my most miserable experience. <laughs>
Hey, Angelus. Good to see you. Does anyone know of any horror games that start with the letter X? Canceled my stream yesterday. I wasn't feeling. Gonna stream later. Gonna rate if, uh, if we're around. Uh, thank you, Angelus. Sorry to hear you had to cancel your stream the other day. But, uh. Good to see you're, you're already getting back to it. Horror games that start with X. I don't think I can help you. Nothing, uh, nothing comes to mind for me. You'll get it eventually. I'm not sure when eventually is. A lot of you have already met that game and just don't realize how echo-like it is yet, Zergling says. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's, it seems like this one might, might, might be there. <laughs> this is all types of Game Boy Advance Echo evil we feel for you. Hey, Tommy, welcome in. Uh, figured there'd be a game with the title Xenomorph, but they're all called Alien something or other. X-Men for the Genesis is a real nightmare to beat. Uh, lots of monster-like creatures, Zergling says. I was thinking, is there is there an X-Files video game? Like, that's like sci-fi. Might, might be kind of spooky sometimes. Resist or serve. Uh, X-Files, resist or serve, uh, Sir Rekha Williams says. From an idea standpoint, I like this level. The inclusion of the timer mechanic makes you not camp a singular spot, force yourself into danger and execution. Not so much. Yeah, it's not a terrible, it's not really a terrible gimmick for a game. Extermination. Yeah, I thought thought maybe something that starts with an EX. It might, you might want to, you might need to uh, sort of fudge the litter X a little bit. X-Files is a good possibility, Angela says. Xenophobe is running gun. It's a good alien game from the from the 80s. There's an FMV game on the PlayStation 1, an X-Files game, Pookie says. One for the PS1, one for the PS2, Sir Echo Glam says. Blades inline skater. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, I hit the thing that messed up my controls. That, that always eats up a ton of time. There were two clocks. There were two, and I ran out of time waiting for it to not be red. <sighs> when I was a kid, I had a uh, I had a movie uh, tape called The Animal Alphabet. It would go through all the letters of the alphabet, and it would sing a song about an animal that, like, was starting the like the name started with that letter. And, uh, when they got to, when they got to, when they got to X, they cheated. They, they said X is for Ox. Shockingly, this timer sound effect hasn't really gotten stuck in my head, but the music from this game did. Um, but not even yesterday. It was actually a couple days ago after uh, the music from the forest world was like playing on loop in my head. When I, uh, when I woke up the next day after the stream.
That was such a good run. That's like... That's the best run I've had tonight that's died because of time, I think. Usually when I get that far along, I, I fail because of lack of health. That's the first time I've had a run that was that good that died when I ran out of time, I think. And playing cards, dealing as much damage as an infectious bite or a literal warhammer. <laughs> I hope Twitch doesn't flag me for copyright when I play the X Files theme. I've only ever had I've only ever had things muted. I haven't had any like copyright strikes for anything yet. I haven't played a lot you know, like I haven't played a lot of things that I think run that risk. Although I did play I did play The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe on PlayStation 2 and like sixty percent of that game is just is just footage from the movie. <laughs> so like if anything would that like I would have expected that would, but it seemed to have worked just fine. joked a little bit about Echo, but in the most important ways, this is not like the uh, Echo experience at all, because the thing is, the gameplay of this, it remains, like, it's, it's fun gameplay. Like, the thing about Echo was I was, I was suffering on the same level for 21 hours, and it was excruciatingly terrible gameplay the whole time. Like, at least this, like, the, the game it, it, the game itself, like, running around, collecting the items, fighting the enemies, like, all that's satisfying. I don't know if I've ever seen an item spawn so much inside of a 
chunk of debris is that? Like, it was basically completely buried. There's so many cards. I say something dumb so Jigo Mega says, if I ever made a game, I want a moment that fits where I can make a song called Hell is Beautiful this time of year. <laughs> First time I've run into a into a poison in a long time. The title's been stuck in your head for some time now. It's uh it's got a ring to it. It's got a ring to it for sure. damage this run is uh this run is dead i'm not sure but i think on the daytime version of this level they're I don't remember. I want to say that there were probably, uh, there probably were health items.
I wonder if they made a I wonder if they made a Santa Claus themed reskin of this game so we can uh, so we can play it again in December. <laughs> won't won't that be something to would won't that be something to look forward to? <laughs> Reindeer crystals. I was still waiting for the Animal Crossing Twin Stick Shooter. This does have sort of an Animal Crossing look to it, like the, the stonework on the ground. Okay, it kind of remind me of that in a way. I thought it could be fun to play a little bit of Animal Crossing on the stream. Um, just like to start up like probably on the probably the GameCube one, like the original one. Because I haven't played a whole lot of that one. Um, and then like after a while kind of semi-retire the game and like maybe have like a channel point redemption to, to visit the uh, the town every now and then. I thought that could be kind of a fun thing to do. I thought it'd be fun to do something like that with um, with uh, Seaman as well on the Dreamcast, and then like <laughs> kind of make it kind of make it the chat's responsibility to keep him alive. That made your brain stop working for a little bit. timer despawned while I was trying to avoid the fireballs. <sighs> I 
Imagine if they just pulled a data design interactive and just reskinned the game and called it a day. If you don't know what that is, good. The games you played probably weren't complete trash. <laughs> Franny missed that timer and I died a little bit on the inside. They recently made a Super Mario 64 mod and gave Mario a shotgun. Don't like having to collect stars to open doors. Just blow the door off its hinges. I think most games are improved with a shotgun. I played uh, Turok uh, Dinosaur Hunter on the Nintendo 64, like, I always felt like the game didn't really start until I picked up the shotgun, which you do get, which you can get pretty early on, but... Turok is so much fun. I haven't played it in a very long time. Uh, the sentiment, I think most games are improved with a shotgun, makes perfect sense to me. <laughs> Shotguns, revolvers, and samurai swords, my favorite things in video games. Uh, subject Omega Steps. I always liked the uh, I always liked the pump action shotgun better than the automatic shotgun in Turok. It felt I always felt it felt more sa it felt more satisfying with the like the animation of like changing out the shells like after every other shot. I don't know why. I never got very far in Turok. I was terrible at it. I could never find my way around through that uh, that terrible thick fog that covers the whole game. I could make it. I could make it up to the. I think there are eight worlds in that game. I think I could make it up to the third world, but I would. I don't think I ever got all the stones in World Three. Not, I couldn't make it very far, not even halfway through the game.
think it was mostly just a matter of being bad at finding and conserving my resources. I feel like I would just run out of, uh, I would just run out of artillery. Torque 1 and 2, maybe 3. Definitely where do I go kind of games, yeah. That being said, the context is that they have no guns in the first place <laughs> to be improved, yeah. Yeah, that, that makes the thought a lot more amusing. Uh, classic pump shotguns, perfect for home defense and video games, Pokemon says. Super Mario World, adding a shotgun would be interesting. Mega Man, adding a shotgun, kind of redundant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. an anti-clock. Sometimes they say, sometimes they stay so, they don't go red for so long. I'm just convinced it, it's one of them that doesn't. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego with a shotgun? Mario Kart, but with revolvers.
San Diego. <laughs> it took me a minute to it took me a minute to to get what where why why that came up. <laughs> like what? I sure am great at grabbing anti-clocks. I can't get a clock to save my life, but an anti-clock I can pick up blindfolded. I saw your look of confusion. It was perfect. It was a very silly little mini adventure I just went on there. <laughs> no. Sorry, I wasn't narrating it. It doesn't make like it makes sense. Just 
how I was moving around the items. I had a very... <laughs> my inner monologue. <laughs> I was on a quest there. Castlevania, the bullets would have to be wooden because Dracula would just laugh if you tried to use a, a gun against him. <laughs> what about silver? I guess. Isn't that technically for werewolves? I remember the horror movie that cleared up how silver works on werewolves, not vampires, but I don't remember the name. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't, uh... Silver is one of those, like, they just kind of, uh, all sort of, like... Silver seems to, to have become sort of all-purpose in a lot of things. Blade didn't get that message. crossbow and a wooden arrow but the thing about well even the thing about the stake through the heart is is, is uh, like I think technically you su you're supposed to be staking them into their coffin like if a vampire is just walking around town and you put a stake through their heart I don't necessarily think that's supposed to take them out either right like it's just one it's like sort of how silver became more generic the stake through the heart became more generic because I because I think the because I, I think that the logic of how it's supposed to work is that they have to be staked down into their coffin. So they can't get up and wander the earth anymore. I don't think I own a single dual stick shooter, Pokemon says. If you have Steam, Pokemons, I heard earlier tonight that I made a game with zombies in it is free on Steam. And I highly recommend it. Even if uh, even if they're charging a dollar for it, <laughs> I, re I I would recommend it. I would recommend paying up to a dollar for it. Still willing to try a silver bullet. Silver, kind of the be-all, end-all when it comes to horror monsters, vampires included. Yeah, silver's become kind of genericized to working on every uh everyone dip your bullets in holy water angela says I don't understand how that's gonna can kill a vampire anyway. Maybe too much cholesterol, but it seems awfully time consuming, Pokemon says.
Everything was going great. I just couldn't keep enough timers. We were a third of the way there. I took no damage. Oh. Please have more steak, Mr. Dracula. How much more net how much how much more annoying to navigate must a hall of mirrors be for a vampire? <laughs> right, because like if you're lost in a hall of mirrors, like at least like you can you can you can work out like what's a mirror and what's not. Because if it has your reflection, it's clearly not an opening. But the vampire just kinda has to bump into everything. <laughs> has to just as the vampire just has to trial and error every surface in the, in the building. <laughs> that must be terribly annoying. Vampire's clothes have a reflection. I don't know. They uh, they never seem to in most media. Um,
think it's like, um, I think it's like Superman, right? Like, like Superman's suit doesn't, like, burn to a crisp when he walks through a fire or something like that, because one of his powers is that he, his body, like, emits a thin protective aura. That, uh, that keeps his keeps his suit nice and pristine in some versions of Superman. I know there's different uh, I think of vampires like that. They've got a thin aura that uh, envelops whatever they're in immediate contact with to prevent it from having a reflection. So, like, if you got a vampire standing in front of a mirror and, like, you toss him an apple and he catches it, I think, I imagine the reflection of the apple would disappear. <laughs> but I don't know how far that would go, right? Because, like, what if a vampire is standing barefoot on the floor? Does the carpet disappear from the reflection? <laughs> I might not be able to. I've, the the logic here it might be hard to keep consistent. <laughs> We're asking real questions here. Monster lore is weird. Uh, uh, it was a good run. I kind of wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> That's real bad. That's really bad of me to. Uh, <laughs> That's really bad of me to, uh, to, to not, but I, I was getting wrapped up in our conversation here. <laughs> uh, welcome in, dude alert. Pleasure to have you with us. What a hard game. Yeah, I'm stuck on this same level. I think we're at seven hours now. Uh, that I've been playing one level. <laughs> uh, across last night and tonight. In Monster Squad, you could blow up a werewolf, but they will put themselves back together. I think it was cool that they actually showed that, Angela says. you bless a vampire shower water and they would instantly know it was blessed and refuse to use it or would you be able to trick them I've never thought of vampires as taking showers. I guess, like, uh... Right? You bless the, uh... The, the water in their hot... In their, like... In their, like, water heater tank. I don't know that vampires have like a necessarily like a sixth sense for holy water. Like if you put like like if you put like like a couple of glasses of water on the on the on the table and one of them's filled with holy water, like I don't think the vampire could like detect it without experimentation.
I sleep covered in dirt, according to some folklore uh, Meth says. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I know that there's that, there's that uh, like association with like their burial soil. Um, I didn't really think of them being like covered in it, but definitely on top of it. Not to say that you're wrong. I just didn't think. It, I just didn't ever think of it that way. If moonlight is just reflected sunlight, wouldn't the only time a werewolf be human? be during a new moon, oh, Subject Omega says. Um, that's true, but does, uh, does, the, does bouncing off of the moon add a, 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 some sort of mystical, uh, does it alter or add some sort of mystical property to the light where, you know, it's not the same as pure sunlight anymore? It definitely the moon the, the light that comes off the moon definitely starts off as sunlight, but <laughs> if we're talking, you know, like 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 mystical and magical monsters, then like the moon's got the moon may have some sort of a some sort of property. Maybe that's why the full moon works, is because then like only when there's a full moon is there enough of the a concentration of whatever is special about the light bouncing off of the moon to uh, to reach the threshold to cause the uh, the transformation. I just I just said I just said it's all mysticism and then. And then, and then immediately started to uh, started to try and uh, numerically quantify <laughs> the the effect. Like I had just said, it was it was mysticism, and then and then and then immediately attempted to apply a, a, a more scientific logic to it. <laughs> in the very neck, in the in the very same breath, the very next sentence. Could you pass the holy water, Dracula? <laughs> If you constantly smell like death and, and never <laughs> clean yourself, I would run away, Angela says. Uh, in Bram Stoker's Dracula, Dracula's carting around dirt from his homeland. He had to recharge and rest by being underneath that dirt. Yeah, I knew, I knew, I remembered, I remembered that, that, that Dracula's dirt was special to him. But, uh, it was a little vague there, um... Did you hear this vampire convo, Frowny? This is why I will never fit in here, Dynabut says. I wrestled and played football in those formative years. I'm sorry, I don't have much of a sports background. My, uh, my high school sport was... My high school sport was the academic team. I, uh... I was uh I was such a I was such a nerd that I showed up voluntarily on the weekends to school to take extra tests. That's how it is. Anytime you can see the moon during the day or see the moon during the night, it'd be werewolf time. <laughs> the power of the full moon provides enough mystical werewolf power. Yeah, that, that was my thought. The full moon causes enough of it. But if you did have the moon show up, like a full moon show up during the day, like, I don't, like, I, it seems to me like the werewolves would transform. <laughs> I have lag because I'm on mobile. Please do not. 
I think the might have part of that sentence might have got lost. <laughs> uh. Wouldn't people be instantly able to tell if someone is a vampire? Smelling like death is not something easy to disguise, which is why I say they should take showers uh, to disguise that, Angela said. I, I, I follow the logic. What happens if you're bitten by both a vampire and a werewolf at the same time? <laughs> uh. I like tests. Makes all the memorization techniques I learned useful. Uh, Dude alert says I I I enjoyed it. I didn't really I didn't really so much enjoy the test part of being on the academic team. Like, um, it's a movie. It's a combination of a uh, of a uh, written exams and um like a trivia contest. Like 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 almost game show like like buzz in trivia. That was the part that was fun <laughs> the uh the written exams i mean it was nice to do well on them but the uh, the the trivia contests were the actual like really fun part of being on the academic team you know like aside from you know like the camaraderie and all that you know the stuff the the actual work of being on the on the, the actual like work of being on the team that was the fun part I did play I did play basketball when I was in middle school. I played basketball for one year. Um I would have done it a second year, but scheduling didn't work out for me. But uh one year of middle school I was on the basketball team and I wasn't particularly great at it. But I was basically like I got really tall really early when I was a kid, so I was a uh, I was useful to have on the team because <laughs> just because of my height. So even though I wasn't very good. doing chores oh uh, yeah the first uh, the first ghost and goblins uh, dynamite uh, on NES every uh, every New Year's on the stream I play ghost and goblins on the NES and I try to play I try to play the third loop after the uh, after the true ending um, but I haven't been able to beat the third loop I've done it for two years so like the, the the idea is that it'll be the stream tradition um, but I failed both years I couldn't get I couldn't clear the third loop I can make it up to the last stage but I just had too much trouble with it both both times. If I ever get loop, uh, no, I've never done it. I've never done it. I never even, like, I don't, I never even knew it was possible until just a couple years ago. There was someone who was streaming it. They were on loop number five, I think, but they had been, they were playing it with save states. So, you know, they weren't really doing it uh, other than just like sort of experimentation. But like, I wanted to do it like, legit on old hardware and see how many extra loops I could do but I can't even do one extra loop I can't I can't do the loop three <laughs> I thought uh I thought I would at least make it to loop four and I probably will one of these times 
the tr part of the trouble with it is I only attempt it once a year. <laughs> To save safe states are bogus. I, I'm inclined to agree. video game nerd finally beat Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I saw that, uh, I've seen the thumbnail for that video. I, I don't want to watch it because I haven't played through that game. I saw his, uh, you know, I've seen his old video on it because I didn't used to have that policy of, like, not watching stuff about games I haven't played. But, uh, but yeah, I saw, I saw that come up and I was like, I was thinking, ah, uh, I'm not going to get to enjoy that for a long time. <laughs> How tall are you, Frowny? I'm six one, sprouted up uh, freshman year. I'm a, uh, I'm six even, I think. I feel like I, I missed a few things here. Oh, I have. I missed a lot. We're bringing all the monster lore into question, and by all of it, we mean two monsters. <laughs> the movie Underworld might be the answer to the werewolf vampire question. I could never get into that movie. I've tried to watch it a couple times. I just find it find it kind of dull. I don't think I've ever made it all the way through it. I remember in Fright Night 2, they scared off a vampire when it accidentally ate a rose. Which I don't remember killing a vampire, but apparently it was mentioned in the Dracula novel as being able to ward off vampires. Never read the whole thing, so I don't remember the passage that mentions that. I've read Dracula, like, two decades ago. <laughs> I don't remember that detail either.
Frankenstein's monster is also something I consider interesting. A mishmash of body parts put together and electrocuted to create life. Just like number Johnny Five. Would you need all of the organs a normal human would for a Frankenstein monster? Since it's undead, is it is it able to pump blood? If not, would it need a heart? Would the brain of the person who died be scared and confused as to why he or she was brought back to the mortal plane in, the bo in a body basically made of scrap? There's a lot to think about there. I don't know. I haven't. Uh, I haven't meditated deeply on the uh, on what it what it would mean to be a Frankenstein's monster. What if you took two him and what if the what if the brain you used was two was was the what if you only took one hemisphere from two separate brains? I don't know if you can reconnect separated hemispheres, but I mean, you can't make a Frankenstein's monster either, so <laughs> let's hypothesize that that Frankenstein also figured that out. Then, like, what happens? I tried to get ChatGTP to simulate Isaac Newton and Richard Feynman solving the Zodiac puzzle. Didn't work. The nerd has jumped the shark, Dynamut says. I only watch uh, Mike Matei these days. Uh, a lot of his stuff is uh, a lot of his stuff is hit and miss. The trio of vampires that the trio of monsters that interest me because of their lore vampires werewolves and frankenstein's monsters if i had uh more time and energy it'd be nice to revisit some of those uh some of those books It's a boring movie, Dude Alert says about Underworld, but I might have watched the whole thing. Yeah, I don't I don't think I made it through the whole thing. I feel like I've tried to watch it two or three times. And there's so many of them. There's so many of those underworld movies. <laughs> What if it's different parts of different people's braids? I mean, that's what I was, uh, yeah, that's what I was thinking about. Hey, Derek Ocean, welcome in, Derek. We've been talking about monsters tonight. About, uh, just uh, silly questions about about odd particularities to vampire and werewolf lore. Werewolf lore. And now, uh, and now, uh, Frankenstein is in the mix. That's why I love mon monster lore. So many questions to ask about these beings. Kind of liked one okay, but that was in medieval times. My interest in mummies is the equivalent in zombies. Some guy died, instant curse. They're back to life again. <laughs> Yeah, it's a Saturday. Jelly is uh Jelly's out of town tonight, so I uh you know, normally we would uh normally we would spend Saturday night together, but 
she is visiting some family. I'm uh, keeping an eye on the house, taking care of the doggo, and uh, using the extra, using the extra night for an extra stream. <laughs> Replaying the same level <laughs> over and over and over again because I can't clear it. <laughs> But I'm having a good time. I've got some good company. A lot of people here who are so very, so very generous and patient to, uh, to spend time watching me fail this over and over and over and over again. Someone, uh, I heard someone once point out that, like, the thing about mummies is, like, mummies aren't very scary because, like, like, most of the other monsters, like, a vampire or a zombie will just show up at your house, right? Just, just, just show up and knock on your door. But a mummy, to get, uh, to, to get a mummy into your life, you have to go out of your way to, like, go into a pyramid and wake up a mummy. <laughs> right? Like, There's no reason, there's no reason to be, there's no reason to, like, sit at home and be afraid of, to be afraid, sit at home and be afraid of a mummy, because. That's not, that's not, that's not a monster that you stumble up, that, that, that you, that you happen upon by, like, they don't come to you. <laughs> it's a, it's upon your agency. That that situation enters your enters your world. Unless you know, like one of your friends, like, maybe one of your friends goes, uh, goes away on a trip and brings back a mummy with them, and then, like, you get, like, the, you're just part of, like, their, you're a side character in your friend's horror story, <laughs> but, you know, just, just don't be friends with Egyptologists. <laughs>
no. Uh, we were. That was such a good run. Memories are stored all throughout the brain. They're likely connections that form with the parts of the brain involved in memory. Memories would be mashed together into a blur if you took two separate uh, brains. <laughs> we need a monster lore tier list. I'm putting Frankenstein's monster right into the right into the top tier. <laughs> Frankenstein's monster does give you a lot of things to think about. I think it depends on the kind of memory. Tomorrow's my last day at Culver's. I'm gonna transfer the new one, Derek says. I'm uh, I'm glad that you are gonna be able to do the transfer. Like, you know, I feel for you, you know, concerning like the circumstances, because I know you like the place where you're at. But uh, hopefully hopefully this will be hopefully this will be for the better. Mummies were dead a lot longer than zombies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, zombies attack unprovoked, but you have to act actively anger a mummy. I had pizza today. It was it was so good. It didn't didn't bother my tummy. Pokemon says right on. Even their own kind can be seen as a free meal among zombies. I don't know that I've seen a lot of zombie media where they turn on each other like that. Uh. In the U.S., we have cryogenic freezing signed up for it. Probably they'll copy my brain to a computer to have an afterlife in something like a video game. I guess we shall see. Yeah, this is, we're getting close to hour eight on this level. <laughs> Frankenstein's my favorite, dude alert says. I may be biased to the Wendigo because I'm native Can Canadian, subject Omega says. Unless I can choose the alien from the Aliens franchise. Would aliens count as would aliens count as monsters? Um, I mean I think so. Uh The Alien the Xenomorph from the Xenomorph from uh from Aliens, I mean Alien is a I mean that's a that's a horror movie. <laughs> Did you see Matthew Perry from Friends passed away? Rip, Derek Ocean says. I did not see that. Derek says aliens count as monsters. I wanna live in Fallout 4 for an afterlife, Doodle Alert says. I'd be okay. I'd be okay hanging out in Animal Crossing. I think if I were gonna, if I were gonna spend my afterlife in a video game, I think Animal Crossing on GameCube, because then I could still play NES games, and you know, seems like a nice chill place to be. Pay all my bills by picking up seashells off the shore all day. <laughs>
Oh, no. Oh, the negative clock. Why? Why does the negative clock even exist? It's hard enough to get real clocks to even spawn, so... I mean, the negative clock is the real clock. I don't know. It's hard enough to get clocks to spawn in the first place, or to have clocks spawn in the first place. Like, it's bad enough that they're not frequent, and then that there's the possibility of them being negative on top of being infrequent. <laughs> Just to, to, to further mess up my life. Live in Fallout 4, Frankenstein is a great idea, and canon. Wish he is more of a legit threat in more of the Castlevania games. He isn't even tough in Castlevania 1 or 64 on his own. He needs uh, Igor and those dogs help. With a little bit of help, with a little bit of help, he becomes kind of a nightmare though. <laughs> Star Trek Enterprise. He drowned, sources say, Derek says. That's a shame. You know, it's a... It's a bummer anyway, but what a way to go. Yeah, well, see, that's the thing is like when you like it's sort of a case by case base basis. I was thinking specifically of the xenomorph when we were talking about aliens. Animal Crossing New Horizons. I've decided to transform my island into some kind of. Miyagi style feng shui zen garden. I haven't, uh, I haven't. I haven't uh, picked up that, uh, I haven't picked up that game in a long time. I don't know what I don't know what that is, uh, dude alert. You know it's a frowny stream when he refuses to give up. No, I didn't win. I didn't win. I, it is time over. On the uh on the continu on the uh continue countdown.
Stubbornness is a trait that I love seeing. The refusal to give up and push through no matter how high the odds are stacked. <laughs> It's my, uh, it's, it's my best and worst quality. It can also be a bad trait, yeah. I didn't know what, I don't know what, what Al, Alcor is. Sorry, I'm, I'm way, I'm way behind on the chat. I meant the Xenomorph too. I wouldn't consider Spock a monster. <laughs> no, I know who Spock, I know who Spock is. <laughs> the, I forgot about the thing. Personal favorite alien monster. I mean, the thing is pretty undeniably great. I've only seen the one, the one movie. Um, I've heard pretty mixed to negative things about anything outside of uh, John Carpenter's uh, The Thing. Okay, that's the thing. All right, so that's the service that you're talking about, the cryogenic freezing thing. I thought from the I thought from the context that was probably it, but I wasn't uh, I wasn't I just wasn't 100% sure. Watching top 10 video tonight. Found out Alf had a talk show in Ot 4. <laughs> Alf, Alf, the 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 alien puppet, in in 04. How long had the like how long had the had the sitcom been off the air at that point? I missed out on it. Dude alert says. Dude alert said it was gonna go through cryo rust. Uh... Pokemon says the thing with me is even if they could could bring someone back, I don't think I'd want to come back at all.
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't really... I'm not really equipped to, uh... I'm not really equipped to, uh, to opine on, uh, on those possibilities. Persephone, welcome in. We can go upside down for a while. Thank you for the water Pokemon. I could definitely use that. I'm going to finish off. I've got a bottle here that I almost wiped out earlier. Found the show on YouTube. It was interesting. The show ended in the early 90s. I wonder what percentage of the creative team behind the sitcom was uh, also behind the talk show. <laughs> also, <laughs> amazing to drink water upside down, but also commendable. Fred, Fred, the plan is dead. Dynamut says, hey, Christian, cool. Thank you for the lurk. Hope your weekend has been super sweet. Hey, thank you. Same to you, of course, my friend. Things, uh, things are all right for me. It's kind of a, it's kind of a quiet, low energy sort of weekend. And I'm, uh, stumbling through this, stumbling through this game. Another question about monster lore. Are we counting movie lore uh, or purely lore from the real world? I mean, I was thinking about... I'm thinking mostly from the perspective of... Like, I know, like, you know, a lot of monster lore, like, comes from sort of real world folklore and stuff like that. But I was kind of thinking in terms of, like, what has been... What has been captured in sort of like fictional like pop media so like you know like books and movies and stuff like that i wasn't really i wasn't really adhering like sort of strictly to like classical folklore understandings So they're kind of they're kind of one in the same in a way, but you know, not not strictly speaking, but you know, there's you know, they. There's a connection of influence there. <laughs> I mean, ne of necessity. Uh. <laughs> Good night, my dude. <laughs> Dynamite says, what is the plan for if this doesn't happen tonight? That, quest that question haunts me. <laughs> um, if it doesn't happen tonight, um... Goodness, what is the plan? I'll probably try it one more night, but I'm not going to give it a whole night again like I did tonight. Um, if I have to play it again, it kind of depends on if there's a stream tomorrow which I'm not 100% sure yet. If I do stream for the next three days, I'll probably play this one more time, and then I'll probably retire it for a bit and come back to it to wrap up the challenge. So I can just go ahead and look at another game. But uh, The idea is to have a normal-looking a normal looking schedule for next week, mostly. So, you know, Jump King... Tears of the Kingdom, and pretty soon I've got to start up Hades. Oh, I think we're going to play Super Mario Wonder next week, too. I think there's going to be one night that's just that game. Probably on Wednesday. 
I'll put the schedule in the Discord, though. Thank you for being with us, Angelus, and good luck. So we're counting iconic horror movie monsters in there too? I mean, yeah, why, why limit ourselves, right? After the fact, but uh, be uh, but of course be well, Dynama. Thank you for being with us tonight. Hopefully, we'll get to see you for some of the nonsense next week. And no, it won't be all this. <laughs> Even if I don't finish it, I promise I'll do something else. I'm excited to uh, I'm excited to try out Mario uh, Mario Wonder. I haven't played all the Mario games, shockingly, because I'm a pretty big Mario fan. It's it is weird to me, like <laughs> that there are still some that I missed, but because I tend to really enjoy and really get into Mario games. But, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited for I'm excited for Wonder. I've kept myself uh, kept myself in the dark about it, so. It's gonna be exciting to see what it has to uh, what it has to offer.
Yeah, no, uh, no, uh, no specifics or, you know, don't, you know, don't, don't give me any information about Mario Wonder, please. I, I know you weren't doing that, um, yet, but I just want to go ahead and put it out there because <laughs> I haven't watched any of the trailers or any footage or anything from it, so. The only, the only things I know about it are, like, what I, what I've glanced in, a like, a like, a, like, two or three thumbnails. And it's, and the rest of it's all, and the rest of it's all blank, so. I'll say that it's a Mario game. Oh, you're playing with fire, Subject Omega. <laughs> Let me catch up here. Uh, it's kind of a lot of monsters. Maybe make two tier lists. One for folklore and one for movie lore. Almost looks like World of Warcraft. I love how this basically started as Frowny trying to beat that one level and has gradually turned into a philosophical discussion about the origin of various iconic monsters from folklore. <laughs> well, maybe not strictly origins, but just different peculiarities, different sort of scenarios that, like, I don't, you know, that I just, or, you know, just, like, pieces of the like ways the lore interacts that you know it's sort of fun to it's sort of fun to think out loud about them even if i don't have answers for most of the questions having you're having fun with wonder uh subject omega right on depending on how fast i can get this surgery mario wonder might be on my shopping list next month pokemon says Hope that's gonna work for you. Would Jigsaw from the Saw series count as a monster? That's an interesting question. I mean, the thing is, like, I, when I think of like when I think of like monsters, I think that the like I think that. I expect an element of the fantastical, like where there where there is something supernatural or or sci-fi in the mix. I haven't seen every Saw movie, but like they they try to be. <laughs> it's weird to say that the Saw movies try to be grounded because there's because they're so ridiculous sometimes, <laughs> but. <laughs> Everything, everything in the Saw movies try to be try to be presented with a with a sense of, well, this could happen. Like Ghostface, yeah. See, like Ghostface is kind of thing. Like, like I don't think Ghost. There's anything like supernatural. Like Ghostface is a weird one too, because like, it, like it, from a franchise perspective, he doesn't really exist. Uh, it's been really good so far, Derek says. I'm sure you will like it. Mario Wonder, right on. I ex I expect I'm going to like it. F Freddy Krueger, I mean, definitely fantastical elements there. Yeah, yeah. Leatherface is a for me. Leatherface is just some guy, while Ma Michael Myers is a monster. Leatherface is a little is a little trickier, just because the continuity between the movies is so sloppy that it's in, is is just like the lining the movies up is impossible without like reaching for some sort of supernatural <laughs> explanation. But, but yeah, I, uh, I, I, I am, I am inclined to agree there. Uh, 
Uh, the revelation in the first uh, Saw movie uh, blew my mind, Dude Alert says. I don't know too much about Leatherface's lore, so I could be wrong. Subject Omega says, "Yeah, I think it's all. I th it, I, th it. I think it's. I don't think there's anything fantastical in the uh, in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre films. Like, I don't think there's any fantastical elements, but they just they ignore continuity in such a way that like the the movies can't it can't really exist in the same universe as one another." <laughs> Unless, unless there's something supernatural happening between films, off screen. You know, or, or sci-fi, I guess. Uh, something, uh, inexplicable. There's no way to line them up. I'm not super well versed in them. I know I've seen. I think there are four original Texas Chainsaw Massacre films. I know it got rebooted. I think there's a reboot and a sequel. I think there's two reboots. I don't know. I lost track of it. But I think there are four four old films, and I think I've seen all four of them. But it's so long ago. I, I they're half remembered. At best. Leatherface is so scary in the original movie. Yeah, the original the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre pretty uh pretty unnerving. Ten head from Hellraiser. I've only... I think I've seen the first two Hellraiser movies. Uh, I'm not really into them. They don't, they don't do a whole lot for me. I don't think... Uh, I don't think they're bad. There's, I mean, there's definitely some really cool effects in them and stuff like that, but just... I don't know. I don't, I don't connect with them. My, uh, I think my sister watched all the, I think my sister and her husband, they watched the entire series uh, a couple years ago, and apparently they get pretty, they get pretty wacky. Like, the Xenomorph is the scariest monster to me. Hey, Master Tuesday. Welcome in. Happy Tuesday to you. Candyman was a creepy one. Oh wow, yeah, Candyman. That movie. I when I watched Candyman, that movie blew my mind. I was watching. I remember. I I saw that movie. It's been a while now. It's been it's been several years. But I watched it. I watched it on my laptop. I was sitting out on the porch in my in front of my apartment with a pair of headphones in. I was watching. I was watching. Candy man outside on my computer in the in the in the dark, <laughs> and uh, I was basically I was basically live uh, commenting on the uh, I was basically live commenting on the movie uh, to to my sister. I was sending her messages in Skype. She wasn't even she wasn't even signed into her account. I was just sending her messages for her to read later. <laughs> I had. Uh, I just 
I got so I I got so wrapped up in that movie and just there's part of it where like I don't want to give away I don't want to give it away but just just something that happens like just the movie's mind blowing. <laughs> I thought that I thought the plot of the movie was just I just couldn't believe I could just couldn't believe what it where it went in the uh in in the uh the, the like late middle portion of the movie it's hard to talk about it because because I don't want to because I can't I don't want to I won't be specific in case someone hasn't seen it because it's really something where it's really something to that's uh it, it, that it, it stuck with me. Routine Tuesday stream I see on the menus vampire crystals and more vampire crystals precisely Tuesday. I wish it wasn't. I want. I really want to clear this. want some bees it was a good horror movie don't remember it all that well because it's been so long but i remember it was pretty good yeah i thought it was uh i thought that was a good one i think i watch. i think i watched two and three after i watched the first one i knew that that they weren't i i heard they're not that they weren't gonna be you know well that that they, that they weren't going to be very good. I don't remember a single thing about them. <laughs> I don't remember a single thing about part two or part three of uh, Candyman. So the so the thing about the Xenomorph from Alien is it's supposed to take on characteristics of its host. So if a Xenomorph like if a if the xenomorph's host is a human that has lycanthropy does the xenomorph come out with lycanthropy <laughs> does it does it come out does it come out with werewolf properties even if its host never transforms during the incubation period Or does it just come out with human properties? And I mean, werewolves are kind of kind of messy because, like, in some werewolf media, like even when they're even when someone's a human, they'll have certain like wolf traits right like they might have like enhanced senses or something like that even when they're not transformed but i think like if we like if we're going really classical like when you're not transformed you're just regular human think through and through so I don't know that there would be any reason for the xenomorph to be affected but then I don't know by what means like the condition of being a werewolf is communicated from from one being to another either Right, because a lot of times it's like werewolf bite, right? You get bitten by a werewolf, then then you become a werewolf, and like there's not like a bite happening in in the scenario that I'm describing. So I don't know.
Are we counting kaiju in the iconic monster department? I have no familiarity with the genre, so I, I can't weigh in. But, uh, I mean, I think so. I think, I think so. It would be my instinct. Started watching one of the sequels, it was boring, dude alert says. Kaiju as well, they're giants of mass destruction. Last thing we need is a werewolf xenomorph. Does what happen with the xenomorph? As the xenomorphs from Alien, they take on the uh, after the the face hugger. Stage while they're incubating inside of a host, they take on the host's characteristics. And so I was just. I was sort of questioning what happens if the host for a xenomorph is a werewolf. Whether or not werewolf traits. Whether or not werewolf traits are communicated to the to the xenomorph, particularly, and particularly, I'm curious about the situation where where the human never transforms during the incubation period. In which case, I would think that there's not necessarily any reason that werewolf characteristics would carry over, um, but. There's a lot of factors that are inconsistent in different, like, versions of werewolves that, that make that more or less, uh, true to me. <laughs> just another, just another, just throwing out, just throwing out more, more things that I think could be fun to think about. We got no answers, just questions. How would a xenomorph work if it was in a Frankenstein monster? See, the thing is, the thing about a Frankenstein monster is that it's composed pretty much entirely of... I, I don't think it would be all that different from having a human host, considering the Frankenstein monster is made of human parts. Now, if you had, like, a Chimera Frankenstein monster, things might get really weird. <laughs> I guess it depends, though, like... The thing about that is, can a Frankenstein monster even serve as a host? Because, like, could a zombie serve as a host for a xenomorph? Like, I don't really think so, because a zombie's not alive. Right? Like, I don't think a vampire... I don't know that a vampire could serve as a, as a host. Right? 
right? Because, like, zombies, like, they don't, like, they don't breathe, their blood doesn't flow, and, like, vampires are usually like that, too. So, I don't know, like, I don't know that, that they, that they can support a xenomorph. Frankenstein's monster is a little different, though, because, like, I think, like, I think Frankenstein's monster has a heartbeat, like, Like, I assume... You know, I, I, I assume that he, that, like, you know... And after he's woken up, like, he basically functions like a... Like a human that isn't assembled from various random parts. <laughs> so I think a Frankenstein could. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I, no. Where uh, werewolves are definitely they're uh, werewolves are. Uh, no, I don't think that. I don't think that they're. I don't think that they're like. Yeah, they're. I don't see any reason why a why a werewolf couldn't serve as a host. I don't. I don't even like. I don't even. I don't think of them as undead or anything. I'd, uh, I'd, I'd, I was already starting to think about, you know, different creatures then. Waited by that and still ended up grabbing it at the wrong time. I just my my brain my brain just completely shut down there at the wrong time. Oh, red means go. take a moment let me cut my uh, recording here into into two before we move into the next attempt <laughs> 